Tsubasa has been destroyed. It seems both pilots evacuated. Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're rolling middle flatwell Subasa into my garage. I converted Pink Test Mammoth Auto Care to the AC garage I make these changes in. Feel free to step in the time capsule up in the corner there to see that. Anyway, middle flatwell. The de facto military leader of the Rubicon Liberation Front. His authority is second only to that of Father Domayan, and his standing with the organization has earned him an informal title as a fellow elder. He is the uncle of the Liberation Front to Dalmayan's father. For a time, Flatwell worked as a spy within the extraplanetary corporations and has sway over a rather significant contact in Schneider's HR department. So to clear things up in case you aren't already in the know, it's not that he is Rusty's uncle, but spoiler alert, Rusty is a double agent for the RLF and everybody in RLF refers to Middle as uncle. And this clarifies why he's using Alcano frame parts, as they are a company that uh, uses stolen Schneider tech. That frame, of course, being the Alcano Fermetza uh, frame, which is a highly mobile frame that has been given some better flight capability with its Gridwalker booster. Its FCS is one of my personal favorites, the PO5, while keeping things lightweight for power generation with a Yaba generator and pulse protection in the extension. His weapons are a mix of ballistics and explosives, having the Etsy in the right hand and the Ronnie RF in the left hand, and a little jam on his right back on standby, as well as a little P20 MLT slash 04 launcher on the other side. Overall, a fast and fairly solid AC that I am now going to gut. Side note, my personal rule in these is the frame is no touchy zone. Everything else is fair game, especially weapons. So I took the Ronnie off and I replaced it with another Etsy and this decision was one of the most complicated decisions I have ever gone through in these so far. At one point I wanted two Ronnies, I changed which Ronnie I had, I swapped to a Curtis at one point. I did a lot of stuff man, but ultimately this is where I landed. Next time, I'll remember the old kiss method, keep it simple stupid. And in that spirit, I decided instead of switching between the gem and the gun, why not make the big boom a button press instead by using the air shot. And I personally prefer the six shooter missile launcher over to four, so I slapped that on too. After making these changes, as usual, I made him fat and kind of need the salvage speed. So I did at the cost of some ups and swapped out the grid walker for the PO6 speed, bringing us back up to 380. With the Etsy's being a little closer range, I opted to use the Ocelus FCS instead of my precious PO5. And to upgrade power, I went or I went with the Ming Tang to help uh, stay in the air a little longer and recharge a little faster at the cost of one point of speed. To top it all off, I switched from pulse protection to pulse armor because I prefer the shield follows me and uh, only benefit me. So those are the changes I made. Maybe you did something differently or would do differently. Let me know in the comments and discuss it amongst each other. I'm always paying attention. And without further ado, let's get on to the PvE and PvP.
Well, that was Middle Flatwell's AC, Subasa, and I made it better, at least in my opinion. But I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like, subscribe, and come back for more. And remember, you can always make suggestions in the comments, or join us in Discord. Link in the description and on the homepage. See ya!